Happy Sunday, friends. Are you guys ready to do this? This is the selection show for Trivia Murder Party 1. Now, as you know, this uh, selection is only for the seven slots for the various characters in each of the episodes. The eight slots, which will feature you guys. That's right, I'm putting y'all's names in there. And hopefully, y'all will survive, depending upon whether or not I am good at keeping you guys alive. Anyway, that will be for a separate show. But right now, this one is for... The Trivia Murder Party 1, Trivia Murder Party 2, various character selection. Now, I have noticed that when I went through the Trivia Murder Party 1 playlist, I didn't have a lot of characters in it, and it was more like uh, sports teams and corporations. So, I said fuck it and uh, put those in there as well. Alright, so, I, if you notice, there's no telling what is on the wheel. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started with our selection show. This one is for episode one. This will be the one that will air at 4 p.m. on Monday, Houston, Sta Houston time, or Central Standard Time. All right, here we go. Our first character for Trivia Murder Party 1 is... Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I think he is the uh, nerdy sockhead. And as you know, I am actually going to write this down in my handy dandy notebook, which I need to um, get a new pen for. But yes, I am going to be writing it down so that way, if my computer crashes, I will still remember who, it, who was supposed to be in what episode. So... There it is. Episode 1 of the first Trivia Murder Party game will be featuring Double D. The second slot will be belonging to that of King Sombra. Yes, the Crystal King obsessed with staircases from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. He will be joining Double D. In their very first episode. There you go. Episode 1. Double D and King Sumber. Let's see who will be the third guy in. I do have the thing recording, right? Yes, I do. Alright, cool. Oh, the Express, the Memphis Express from the AAF. All right, so here it is. I know I'm definitely going to have to uh, figure out some way to condense that. But there it is, Double D, King Sombra, and the Memphis Express from the, from the doomed uh, uh, Alliance of American Football. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a failure. Hopefully, the XFL will fare much better. The XFL is going to fare much better. They're definitely going to at least finish the season. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the uh, fourth slot filled up and see who's going to take that one. It is San Diego Fleet, another AAF team. Okay, that's going to be quite the interesting. There it is, San Diego Fleet of the Alliance of American Football. So we got two AAF teams in our first episode. So let's see who will be number five. CBS, one of our broadcast networks from the Broadcast Networks episode. So, yeah, so we got a broadcast corporations, two Australian. Two AAF teams, an MLP villain, and an Ed Ed and Eddie's character. So this is going to be quite a medley we got here for Trivia Murder. And if you think this is going to be quite the medley for Trivia Murder Party 1, you should definitely see the selection for Trivia Murder Party 2. Anyway, we got two more slots to fill. Well, three more slots if we include y'all, but I'll do that in a separate episode. Stars of the Big Bash League. Yes, the Melbourne Stars. 
try to remember how to spell Melbourne, Australia. And I wrote down stair instead of stars. There it is. Melbourne Stars, so we have a cricket team alongside two American football teams. We got a bit of an international flair, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and spin this wheel and see who will be taking up the last of the medley spot. Brickhead Mulligan from Mutant Football League. Yes, the, the guy that's a color commentator of the game who's was a former player with lots and 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 lots of head trauma. So there it is, Brickhead Mulligan. So we got ourselves an interesting lineup for interest for episode one. We have Double D, King Somber, Memphis Express, San Diego Fleet, CBS, Melbourne Stars, and Brickhead Mulligan. Alright, so here we go. We got episode two. I'm going to make those seven slots once again. Alright, so let's go ahead and see who will take up the first slot for episode two. It is Nick Jackson of the Young Box from the All Elite Murder episode. Nick Jackson. So there it is, Nick Jackson taking up the first of the seven slots for episode two of the Trivia Murder Party 1 medley tournament. Let me go ahead and sip my coffee just real quick. Spin the wheel once more to see who will join Nick Jackson. It is Discord! Woohoo! Bit of a chaotic episode already. So, episode two will have Nick Jackson, Discord, and who will join? The Hobart Hurricanes of the Big Bash lead. Once again, this is definitely going to be set up for a very, 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 very interesting showdown. Alright, the fourth slot of Episode 2 to be occupied by... Walmart! Yes, that one store where everything is cheap and apparently there is no dress code if the people of Walmart.com has anything to say about it. Also, you get the uh, gratuitous people that just likes to flash their junk titties and have sex for some reason. Yeah, this is definitely a family-friendly environment, ain't it? Anyway, Walmart is the fourth slot in. Let me go ahead and spin that wheel one more time to see who will join episode two. And it is the Image Board 4chan. The one that gives that makes sure my nightmares are never boring ever again. And it's got plenty of image boards such as B, Pole, and Hentai. If you don't know what Hentai is, you are too young to be watching this channel. Get the fuck off my channel. Anyway. And by too young, I mean way younger than 13. Because this channel is not meant for kids. Well, what do you know? Alex Trebek, the Jeopardy host, the greatest host of all time. Screw you, Bob Barker. <laughs> is number five, six. So, he, this is actually going to be a very interesting episode. We got Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks, Discord, the My Little Pony villain, turned a uh, friend, I guess? Uh, yeah, he's definitely a good guy now. Hobart Hurricanes, Walmart, 4chan, and Alex Trebek. Let's go and spin the wheel to see who will take up the last spot of the Trivia Murder Party 1 tournament. 
For episode two, that is. Facebook! Yes, the boring site where your family members will not leave you alone, and I have not used in ages. Like, ages, bro. Ages. All right, here we go. Once again, the lineup for episode two is Nick Jackson, Discord, Hobart, Hobart Hurricanes, Walmart, 4chan, Alex Trebek, and Facebook. Let me go ahead and set up the seven slots for... Episode 3. Remember, the eight slots will be filled with y'all's names. I have not yet selected that yet. Ed! The, the lovable dimwit oath from Ed and Eddie. Also, the connoisseur of the buttered toast. <laughs> so he's going to take up the first slot. I'm going to spin the wheel one more time to see who will have slot numero dos for the episode threes. Wolf! Oh, boy. So already two Ed, Ed, and Eddie episode characters right there. We got Rolf on board. The Guardians of the XFL! That's right, our first XFL team. I, th I was really scared that we weren't going to get any XFL teams on board. But, I am now going to be at rest. Because, lo and behold, the New York Guardians of the XFL is indeed on board. Alright, let's go ahead and spin that uh, wheel again. ESPN, one of our sports casting networks. That's right, ESPN is going to be joining the likes of Ed Boy, Rolf, New York Guardians, and ESPN. Let's see who will take up numero five. Nice! We got three Ed and Eddie characters in one simple in single episode. This will be quite the lineup. We got Ed Rolf, New York Guardians, ESPN, and Naz. And keep in mind, I deliberately set up the wheel so I could see the selections very. Bricks Jr. That little parasite that lives on the shoulder of Brickhead Mulligan in the Mutant Football League game. Provides his own commentary and tends to cuss out a lot, much to everybody's chagrin. That's right. Everyone's favorite beer drinking, super drunk head, Party Parasite is now on board. This is going to be a bit of an interesting dynamic, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, for our last slot for episode three, we have Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks. I was really scared that one of the Young Bucks would be left out of this tournament entirely, snubbed to the system. But no, it, it will not happen. Matt Jackson will be the seventh slot of episode three. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, recap. For episode three, we have Ed Boy, Ralph, New York Guardians, ESPN, Nas, Bricks Jr., and Matt Jackson. His brother Nick is in episode two. All right, let me go ahead and get the uh, seven slots for episode four. And we have... The Battle Hawks, St. Louis Battle Hawks of the XFL. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, St. Louis is getting a football team back in order. Real proud of them. To be honest, they should have kept the Rams. 
and should have expanded the NFL. Speaking of football, the DC Defenders of the XFL will be also be on board. Remember, this wheel selection is completely random, and I've already spun the wheel to see who will join the Battlehawks and the Defenders. We have the San Antonio Commanders, so we have an XFL versus AAF going on, ladies and gentlemen. I think I spelled commanders wrong on my notebook, but I'll figure it out uh, once I start playing the game. Alright, let's see who else will join the three. The fourth slot for episode four is Aldi! The German chain that I happen to find a lot in Texas. It gives you lots of groceries, high quality groceries that is. For 100% free, you just have to bring your own grocery bags. Huh. And a quarter for the cart. You will definitely need a quarter for the cart. Let's spin this wheel one more time to see who will fill the next three slots for episode four. Becky Lynch! I was really scared there wasn't going to be a WWE Superstar, but I can now be at ease as the man and the one who should probably be uh, breaking up with jackass Seth Rollins because he's a fucking heel is on board. I'm going to go ahead and spin this wheel. Send the authors of paid my way, Seth Rollins. I fucking dare you. I mother can dare you. Birmingham Iron. Oh, this is going to be quite... Oh, no, I guess I spelled Birmingham. The Interestings. We got two AAF teams and two XFL teams on the same episode. All right, taking up the last slot will be... The Renegades of the BBL, not the D Dallas Renegades. The Cricket Renegades, the Melbourne Renegades, the better Renegades. Fuck you, Dallas. Oh, damn it. Oh, um. There we go, that's more like it. So recap, episode 4 will feature St. Louis Battlehawks, DC Defenders, San Antonio Commanders, Aldi, Becky Lynch, Birmingham Iron, and the Melbourne Renegades. Not a lot of human characters on that show, but such is life. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, episode 5. Let's see who will be selected for episode 5. John Moxley, of course, the former Dean Ambrose. The most violent man I know. Mr. John Moxley is in the very first episode of episode 5. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel to see who will join John Moxley. It will be... ABC, the network company owned by Walt Disney Company. A, B, C. It's the alphabets. All right, let me go ahead and sip my coffee while the wheel is spinning. The Atlanta Legends. The Hot Atlanta Legends. Of the um, Alliance of American Football. Hold on, this thing just... Wanted to go out on me again. Our fourth slot will be taken up by... I'm a pretty messy drinker. Wayne Brady! I thought we weren't going to have another game show host, but nope, I was wrong. We're going to have... Let's make a deal, host. The Who's Line is in any way panelist. And overall, one of the finest... 
African Americans to ever host a game show, others being Steve Harvey, Nipsey Russell, and Cedric the Entertainer, as well as Terry Crews. I'm not sure if there was any other um, uh, black people hosting game shows. I'm not going to count dating shows, so uh, Wendy Williams, you are disqualified. We don't count dating shows as game shows. Even though GSN likes to beg to differ. Anyways, Wayne Brady is on board. He will be joining John Moxley, ABC, and the Atlanta Legends. Quite an interesting concept. I'm uh, going to spin the wheel, see what we got on our next selection. The Sydney Thunder! Do. Alright, let's see who will be joining the Sydney Thunder. John Moxley, Atlanta Legends, ABC, and Wayne Brady in episode 5, and it is. Sonic the Hedgehog! Yes! Sonic the Hedgehog, the connoisseur of the chili dog variety. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog is on board for episode 5. He will be joining John Moxley, ABC, Atlanta Legends, Wayne Brady, and the Thunder. The Sydney Thunders, that is. I'm uh, going to give this wheel a spin. And Tumblr. Oh, this is going to be one interesting... <laughs> Oh, God. On one end of the list, we got someone who doesn't give a crap about your feelings. And uh, and on the other side, we have our social media side that is all about your fee-fees. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, boy. This is going to get real violent real fast. All right. Episode 6 of Trivia Murder Party 1. Going to get the seven slots in order. Five, six, seven... I counted it right. I'm going to give this wheel a spin. And let's see what we wind up with. Drew Carey, the host of The Price is Right and The Power of Ten. One of the most underrated shows of all time. So Drew Carey is on board. Going to spin this wheel. And let's give it up for the Brisbane Heat. That's right, the Brisbane Heat is now on board. All right, and next up on board we have the Adelaide Strikers. Going to be quite the interesting here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and give this wheel another spin. Graham Blitzrow, the play-by-play -play commentator and the main guy behind the Mutant Football League. He is voiced by the one and only Tim Kitzrow of the NBA Jam uh, fame. Hold on, I'm trying to... Oh, god damn it. There we go. Tim Kitzrow of NBA Jam Game, The On Fire. Oh my goodness, I gotta find a working... a suitable PS3 controller for... And we could get uh, NBA Jam on Fire Edition and NFL Blitz on board this channel. This will be quite the interesting. So, all right, here we go. Next selection belong to that too. Twitter. Tweet, 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 tweet. That's right, the one social media website that you try to get everything down to. Originally, 140 characters or less, but now it is 280. So we are advancing, ladies and gentlemen. Our next. Mm -hmm. Medic! 
Hedgehog, that's right. The brother of Sonic the Hedgehog. Of Sonic Underground fame. The Master Thief. The guy with the surfboard, the mohawk, and of course the drummer. The Earthquake creator. And the reason why he is now banned in all Pacific Rim regions, including California, Japan, Hawaii, and Australia. Because he likes to do a lot of earthquakes and a lot of thievery. Manic the Hedgehog, ladies and gentlemen, is on board. He will be joining alongside Drew Carey, the Brisbane Heat, Adelaide Strikers, Grim Blitzrow, Twitter, and our last selection for Episode 6, which is... Bob Barker! That's right. The original host of The Price is Right. Oh my goodness, I just realized we also have Drew Carey in there. Now the possibilities are endless because we got the old guard and the new guard of The Price is Right on board the same episode, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get a seven on board. To see who will join. I'm right, gonna give this wheel another spin. The Orlando Apollos is our first slot taken. Gonna give this wheel another spin. Nightmare Moon! The night shall last forever with this villain on board. That's right, Nightmare Moon is on board. She will be joining the Orlando Apollos for Episode 7. Alright, let's go ahead and get this uh, next thing wheel spinning. Let's get this hype train a guard, ladies and gentlemen. Let's type hype train in the comments. Kevin Owens! One of my favorite WWE wrestlers. Oops. There we go. Also known, formerly known as Kevin Steen. That's right. Kevin Owens is the former NXT champion, Universal champion, Intercontinental champion, and I think he was a tag team champion? I might be wrong. Anyway... He's joined Nightmare Moon, Orlando Polos. Let's go and spin this wheel another spin. And let's see who will be joining amongst them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We all know what kind of Cody we're talking about. That's right. Formerly known as the son of a son of a plumber. The grandson of a plumber. Cody. Whoa. We'll be joining Kevin Owens. This is going to be quite the interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We already got interesting lineup for the first six episodes. Now we got an even more interesting lineup for episode seven. Oh, the sister of Sonic the Hedgehog, the pianist, the pink haired maniac. Of course, we all know and love as Sonya the Hedgehog. She is joining Nightmare Moon, Kevin Owens, and Cody, as, long, as well as the Orlando Apollos. Gonna give this wheel another spin to see which seven slots will be taken up next. Brent! Oh! <laughs> Brandy Rhodes. Will be joining her husband, Cody. Oh, good Lord Almighty. Oh, boy. I don't think they're going to stay married for long. Because th there's definitely going to be a heel turn to stay away from the murderous antics of Redacted. Go ahead and give this wheel another spin. Who will take up the last of the seven slots? It will be Tyrek. Oh, boy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Tyrek. So the 
Episode 7 lineup is Orlando Apollo, Sonya, Nightmare Moon, Brandy Rhodes, Kevin Owens, Tyrek, and Cody. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, for the eighth and final episode, I do have some bad news for the some of you. There's only seven slots. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. We got a very, very, very small selection. So, at best, you got a little less than a 20% chance of making it on the making it into the tournament. Lots of luck to all of y'all. AGB! That's right. The Texas exclusive grocery chain. Home of the finest groceries that you could ever have. That's right. The Texas legend itself, AGB. Right of Texas will be the first slot of episode 8. Gonna give this wheel another spin to see who else will join the AGB. And it is... The Roughnecks! That's right, the Houston Roughnecks will be joining. Oh, wow, we got two Texas legends. We got two Texas legends joining on board. Will the Dallas Renegades be jumping on board? I hope the bleep not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Third slot to be selected by Seattle Dragons. Hoo -hoo -hoo. They were inevitable. I guess better now than never. Ladies and gentlemen, Seattle Dragons. I'm going to give this one another spin. To see who will take up slot number four. Who could it be? The Sydney Sixers, of course, of the Big Bash lead. I'm uh, gonna give this wheel another spin to see who will take up the last of the three, the first of the last three slots. It is Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, he does not chuckle. So Knuckles will be joining the Houston Roughnecks, Seattle Dragons, Sydney Sixers, and HEB. I thought we weren't going to have a human character on this show, but thank goodness we now do. Gonna give it. Who will take out the last of the seven slot? I mean, yeah, let two slots left in this episode. Silver. Oh boy, I am kind of a bit, I think I also had Shadow and Queen Chrysalis on board uh, on that wheel, so that's going to be quite, that's going to be quite disappointing to not see them um, in this tournament, but that's just how the wheel spins, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Here it is, final spin. And it will be occupied by NBC. Do, do, do. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is our selection for episode one. And what a medley we have here. For episode one, we have Double D from Ed and Eddie, King Sombra, Memphis Express, San Diego Fleet, CBS, Melbourne Stars, and Brickhead Mulligan from the Mutant Football League. In episode two, we have Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks, Discord from My Little Pony, Hobart Hurricanes, Walmart, Fortune, Alex Trebek, The Jeopardy Host, Facebook. For episode three, we have Ed from Ed and Eddie, Wolf also from Ed and Eddie, New York Guardians, ESPN, Nas from Ed and Eddie, Bricks Jr. from the Mutant Football League and Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks. For episode 4, we have the St. Louis Battlehawks, DC Defenders, San Antonio Commanders, Aldi, the grocery store chain, Becky Lynch, Birmingham Iron, Melbourne Renegades. For episode 5, we have John Moxley, formerly known as Dean Ambrose, ABC, Atlanta Legends, Wayne Brady of Let's Make a Deal and Whose Line Is It Anyway fame. 
Sydney Thunder, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Tumblr. For episode 6, we have Drew Carey, Brisbane Heat, Adelaide Strikers, Grim Blitzrow of Mutant Football League, Twitter, Manic, Sonic the Hedgehog's brother from the Sonic Underground fame, and of course the original what, Price is Right host, Barb Barker. For episode 7, we have Orlando Apollos, Nightmare Moon, Kevin Owens, Cody, Sonya, Brandy Rhodes, and Tyrek. And finally, for number 8, we have two Texas legends, the HEB and the Houston Roughnecks, alongside the Seattle Dragons, Sydney Sixers, Knuckles, the Echidna, Silver, the fabulous one, and of course, NBC. That is your lineup for the Trivia Murder Party 1 medley selection. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Now, of course, for each of the missing slots, because this is going to be an eight-player episode, will be filled by you. I have not done that wheel yet. That will actually be a separate episode, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make that public, because I really want that to be a surprise. What episode will you be in? What tournament will you be in? It's going to be a big mystery, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, spooky. All right, but before we get started on that, we're going to go ahead and switch the wheel over as soon as the website loads to Trivia Murder Party 2. That's right. We have the Trivia Murder Party 2 tournament that we will do. So let's go ahead and get the first seven slots of episode one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this wheel spinning. And as you know, we have a lot more slots available for this wheel, so it could be anything. Vaggy! Our very first selection is Vaggy from Hasbid Hotel. That's right. The weirdest musical cartoon that will just weird you out. High or sober. Alright, let's see who will get the second slot in this one. It is... Charlie! Whoa! From Hasbin Hotel. This is... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Faggy and Charlie. I'm not sure if they are canonly um, a couple. I think they are canonly a couple, so this is going to be quite the betrayal, because I'm not sure what kind of games I'm, I'm going to, to include in this in this tournament, but there's going to be a lot of opportunity for heartbreak, breakups, all that stuff. Call Maury Povich, call Jerry Springer, probably some Steve Wilkos in as well. In the meantime, we're going to spin the wheel again. And the winner of the third slot is... Meg from Family Guy, Meg Griffin. So there we go. Gonna spin that wheel one more time. And it's Kyle Brofloski from South Park. That's right, the Afro redhead Jew, whose brother is a Canadian. Going to go ahead and get that wheel another spin. See who else will be joining an already medley medley of Trivia Murder Party 2. Sir Viper! Oh, one of my favorite Pokemon from the My Favorite Pokemon episode. There we go, this is going to be quite interesting. We got Vaggy, Charlie, Meg Griffin, Kyle Broflowski, and Sir Viper for the first episode of Trivia Murder Party 2 tor Medley Tournament. Cousin Crazy Donna, one of Redacted's relatives. Woo! And as you know, you can act, I think there's a very awesome artwork of Redacted's relatives on Alana Autour's uh, Twitter channel. Um, I might link that in the description below. 
If I forget to, please remind me and I'll include it in the comment section, okay? So, because right now my mind is going crazy to, with all this amazing includement that we're going to have, ladies and gentlemen. All right, last slot for episode one of Trivia Murder Party 2 is... Ricky LeFleur from the Trailer Park Boys. Woo, boy. I am not sure if Ricky is a fan of snakes. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Line up for episode one is Faggy, Charlie, both of Hasbro and Hotel fame, Meg Griffin, Kyle Blofrowski, Sir Viper, Crazy Donna, one of Redacted's relatives, and Ricky. Actually, here's a fun fact. There is a movie called Would You Rather, and it also and it starred Rob Wells, um, the the guy who plays Ricky, as in that movie. I I think it was Peter something, and he had his he had a heart attack after having his hand blown up by half by a quarter stick of dynamite. Yes, that's a. Ooh, very very fun, and it was actually um. It was actually the inspiration for the whole Trivia Murder Party 2. I think, well, one of the Jackbox uh, creators said that some time ago. So I'd just like to thank uh, the Would You Rather movie for creating the whole Trivia Murder Party 2 phase, if that if those rumors are true. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the wheel spinning. We're going to episode 2. The first slot for that will be belonging to that of... Stewie Griffin! Oh, boy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Stewie Griffin. Spin the wheel one more time. And we have Uncle Clyde, the connoisseur of time bombs. That's right, one of uh, Redacted's relatives. Gonna spin the wheel once more to see who will be joining Stewie and Uncle Clive. Wario! Already we have one of the finest medleys. Forget Super Smash Brothers, it is the Trivia Murder Party Medley Tournament. We have a big variety. Big, big, big. Big variety. It is huge. It is one of the biggest I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cherry Bomb of Hasbro Hotel fame. I do want to warn you guys. <laughs> I should have done that at the beginning of the video. I will tend to uh, scream and cheer a bit when I see some of the finer characters making it to the medley tournament. So turn your volumes down. <laughs> All righty. Meanwhile, sip my coffee. Mm. Fine view of Grumpy's ass. Here we go. We're going to give this one another spin. And ladies and gentlemen, we now have... Homer Simpson! Oh, Lord. We got... A dimwit dad, a sexy cyclops, uh, a fat version of Mario, <laughs> one of Redacted's relatives, known for time bombs, and we got a baby, a uh, homosexual baby, hell bent on world domination. Quite the episode. And we still got two more slots left to fill. One more, if we're counting you. That's right, our viewers. Julian from the Trailer Park Boys. He is the guy that wears the black t-shirt, big muscle shirt. I think he's also wearing the jeans. And always, always, no matter what the situation calls for, always carries a glass of rum and coke around or some sort of uh, rum variety drink. Some sort of, yeah, something like that. All right. Bart Sim oh, this is going to be quite the interesting. Imagine if Bart was responsible for Homer's death in that episode. Why, you little... Ah, ah, how did you, you betray me in a game of dumb waiters? 
Oh my goodness, it, that's already gonna be. Ooh. Oh, spicy, spicy, spicy. Oh, also, uh, Bart and Stewie are in the same episode, so it's gonna be. Uh, let's see how that dynamic goes. Oopsies. Gonna go ahead and give that wheel another spin, and we have. Starfire from Teen Titans, our first slot for episode three. All right, gonna give this wheel another spin to see who will join Starfire for episode three. Twilight Sparkle. That's right, the studious unicorn turned alicorn. Now, the ruler of Equestria. I did not see the uh, last season of My Little Pony, so which was the final season. Real sad that it went. Please keep the franchise alive. I need the wheel to leave. Alright, so we got Starfire, Twilight Sparkle. Who is going to be? Numero Thrace. Applejack! That's right, the um, hard-working... Apple Farm Earth Pony, whose brother is probably one of the sexiest stallions alive. I can already see him in Angel Dust in one of the weirdest fanfics ever. I need to stop dropping acid. <laughs> uh, let's just get the damn wheel spinning again. We have, oh, what, three My Little Ponies in one episode. Pinkie Pie. So we're not going to have a, quite of a randomness for this, uh, for this episode, episode three. But let's see what the uh, fourth selection could bring to the table. Cousin Al oh, yeah, the one that, uh, the one that, um, redacted um, uses the magic kit for the Skewers game. Cousin Aloysius. I did not know how to spell that name, so... I, I will I will correct it once it's time to play that game. I didn't even spell it right on my uh, paper, but yeah. Okay, so now we got a bit of a variety. We got three My Little Ponies, a Teen Titan, and one of Redacted's relatives. And we still got two more slots for that episode, and that will be occupied by, first, Lisa Simpson. Oh, oh boy, Lisa is going to be amongst... Oh my gosh, she's going to be amongst two Earth Ponies and a Unicorn. That's probably her fantasy. And she'll probably think it's her fantasy as well, once one of the unicorns figure out what her password is, and murders her! Yay! <laughs> oh god, I am fucking weird. Alright, here we go. Last slot for episode three. We have... Cyborg! Okay! So maybe we will have a bit of an interesting dynamic for Episode 3. Alright, Episode 3 uh, recap. Starfire, Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Cousin Aloysius, Lisa, and Cyborg. Let's go ahead and get uh, Episode 4 written down. Go ahead and spin that wheel to see what we will come up with for episode four. And our first selection, Gengar! The Hexmaniac's favorite Pokemon, alongside Ghastly and Haunter. Hexmaniac, by the way, is my waifu. I'm gonna give this wheel another spin. I know I'm weird. Bowsette! Ooh, Bowsette! You know the meme, you know the art, you know what she looks like, you know how fierce she'll be. She'll probably just murder the competition herself. 
give Redacted a run for his money. Oh! Alright, let's see what we got here. Grandpappy Jack! That is the guy who was known for the crazy glasses that also succumbed to supernatural madness. Not to be confused with any real mental condition, which you should always seek help in counseling for if you actually do. Anyway, we got Gengar, Bowsette, Grandpappy Jack, and who is number four? Bumble from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer series, uh, movies. That's right, Bumble the Abominable Snowman. There is one thing we do know about Bumble's... Bumble's bounce! So he'll probably actually live if the elevator falls in the dumbwaiter game, so we might need a backup plan redacted. Gonna go ahead and get another wheel spinning and let's see what's there to see. Rainbow Dash! There you go. I hope you are not scared of ghosts. Dashy or supernatural madness. Gonna go ahead and get another wheel of spin. And it will be Bubbles of the Trailer Park Boys frame um fame. Bubbles, not the Powerpuff Girls Bubbles. I did not include the Powerpuff Girls in the in the series so far. But Bubbles is the guy that has very magnifying glasses. He always speaks in this Horse voice! And he is the connoisseur of kitties and fixes grocery carts. He is the best friend of both uh, Julian and Ricky, and he lives in a shed. Because kitties are so nice. Kitties are so nice. I'm gonna spin the wheel again and stop imitating it before I lose my mind. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Our uh, last selection is Randy from the Trailer Park Boys. Yes, it is Randy Bo Bandy, the lover of the late Jim Leahy. There is a big story behind that. You need to actually watch the trailer park boys. It is on Netflix. That's right. The connoisseur of cheeseburgers and the guy who never wears a goddamn shirt. Come on, Randy. No one wants to see your gut. Alright, here we go. Episode 5, the first slot will be taken up by my, one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, Snorlax. Snorlax. I was going to include Munchlax, but he'll probably just eat the damn competition. Probably this damn selection show as well. Alright, let's see who is going to join Snorlax in episode 5. We have <gasps> the Radio Demon himself, Alistair. Oh, you know what? Oh, I could definitely see Alistair hosting Trivia Murder Party in Hell. <laughs> and it will have high ratings. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Alistair the Radio Demon from Has Been Hotel. Oh, boy. Let's see who else is going to join Alistair and Snorlax in episode 5. We have... Chris Griffin from Family Guy. Oh boy. Chris is definitely going to be easy fodder for Alistair. Going to go ahead and give this one a spin. See who else is going to join on board. Raven from Teen Titans. That's right, Teen Titans Raven is on board. Not to be confused with former WWE Superstar Raven. Stan Marsh 
from South Park. Alright, so we have so far episode 5, we have Snorlax, Alistair the Radio Demon, Chris Griffin, Raven from Teen Titans, and Stan Marsh from South Park. Stand ground. Still remember that episode. Uh, ooh, Robin from Teen Titans fame. Well, this is going to be quite the interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Going to go ahead and give this wheel another spin, and let's see who will be joining us alongside. Husk from the Trivia Murder Party fame. He is the one that will be manning the bar. He was brought on board. He has a bit of a gambling addiction. Was close to winning, but alas, you're in hell, my friend. So ladies and gentlemen, quick recap for episode 5. We have Snorlax, Alistair the Radio Demon from um, uh, Hasbun Hotel, Chris Griffin from Family Guy, Raven from Teen Titans, Stan Marsh from South Park, Robin from Teen Titans, and Husk from Hasbun Hotel. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm just not looking at this. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough slots available for all eight episodes. I may have to either include more of you guys or come up with weird characters in my head. I have many voices in my head. They all sound like Alistair for some reason now. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this wheel another spin. Ooh, Aunt Mildred for episode six. Alright. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel one more time. We have Aunt Mildred. I think she is the one that writes on the mirrors in the mirrors game. Kitty from South Park. He, he will be perfect for this game. He is also one of the test dummies for the early versions of Trivia Murder Party 2. Because, you know, he keeps dying a lot. Oh, thank God! They killed Kitty! Well, guess what? You're a bastard. I'm going to spin this wheel one more time to see who will join the selection in. <gasps> woo That's right! The cute, lovable sheep! Oh my god, she is going to fucking murder everybody! That sheep is going to murder that's right, the cutest Pokemon that has officially defeated Pikachu in the cuteness meter. It is Wulu. I am Wulu, king of the fluffs. Let's see what you mortal beings have that you dare call battle. Oh my goodness. Should have included double. I would have included a dub wool, but I didn't know what the um, evolved form would look like or what it would be. Anyway, Luigi is in number six. That's why Luigi is in number six. We have Aunt Mildred, Kenny, Wooloo, Luigi. Gonna spin this wheel and see which else will join the fray. The medley tournament will be interesting. Yukon Cornelius, the one that is looking for silver and gold. He is also the one that says Bumble's Bounce. Let's go ahead and give this one a go. Peach! That's right, Princess Peach. The one that keeps needing to be saved by Mario in every single one of those Super Mario games. That'll be in for Episode 6. And, oh, Jim Leahy. Oh, my God. He is probably just going to stumble drunk his way through that game. So, ladies and gentlemen, the lineup for Episode 6, we have Aunt Mildred, Kenny, Wooloo, Luigi, Yukon, Peach, and Jim Leahy. Let's go ahead and get Episode 7. We might include everybody because I did not realize I needed that many slots on the wheel. And I'll have to actually come up with some in my mind. Anyway, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what's going to be available in Episode 7. Hello, Vivian. P. 
Peter Griffith from Family Guy. Oh boy, the lovable oaf. That lovable oaf. Alright, oh, oh, oh. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It's probably going to be turned into Rudolph meat. I should definitely stop singing before I cause people's depression. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get this wheel another spin. Oh, I might have enough slots. Grandma Despair, the one with the knife. One of Redacted's relatives. Oh, boy. Will she win? Also, I think this was uh, mentioned in one of the Trivia Murder Party 2 episodes, but Grandma Despair isn't really related to them. Uh, she just killed their real grandma and just took their place. But then again, there's a family full of murderous motherfuckers, so I wouldn't think anything different. <laughs> Anyway, let's see who else is on board. We have Waluigi! 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 Wah! All right, gonna give Waluigi a go. Uh, of course. My feminine fellow, ladies and gentlemen, Angel Dust, the horniest, sexiest spider of has -Been Hotel. Holy crap, he is already making love to my brain as we speak. Let's spin the wheel so I don't lose my brains. Oh, we might be able to include everybody in this game. Sir, ooh, oh, harder daddy, Sir Pentius is in this episode. Oh, this is going to be uh, quite the interesting now. It will be. All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. We might just include everybody on the damn list. Rarity. That's right off my little pony fame. So for lineup for episode seven, we have Peter Griffin, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Grandma Despair, Waluigi, Angel Dust, Serpentius, and Rarity. All right, the eighth and final episode, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Seven slots left. We might be able to fill it up. Nifty, that tiny little Cyclops creature from Has Been Hotel. Let's go ahead and give this wheel another spin. Blaziken! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Blaziken, the chicken from. As, uh, from Pokemon. I was going to say Haspen Hotel. What the fuck? That would be quite interesting if I see a Pokemon in Haspen Hotel, but nope. I was screwing up. And, oh, 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 Fluttershy. Oh, no, she is definitely going to be the dark horse to win this one. Trust me, if you've seen any of Ra um, Hot Diggity Demon stuff, the one that Max G does, the oh, shed dot move. Hey, hey, hey! Stay out of my shed! <laughs> Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to know what is in Fluttershy's shed. You do not want to know. Let's spin the wheel, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth slot of episode eight to be occupied by. Brian Griffin, the dog. He is definitely going to be the first to go. <laughs> I mean, you got Nifty, Blaziken, Fluttershy, and Brian in that episode. And if he makes it to the, if he somehow makes it to the finals, that he's he's got a lot of competition ahead of him. 
Beast Boy of Teen Titans fame. All right, let's go ahead and get this wheel of spinning. Aunt Vail, the one with the mirror, not Aunt Mildred that um, draws on mirrors. It's the one that had a mirror possessed by a ghost. It was featured in the Gifts minigame. All right, five slots, five uh, characters on the wheel. Only one more slot left in this entire medley tournament. Who will occupy it? It is... Lois Griffin! All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that will be quite a medley. Quite, 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 quite the medley. Um, I'm not sure if there was a lot of... Uh, people left out. Anyway, here's the lineup for the Trivia Murder Party 2 Medley Tournament. In Episode 1, it will feature Vaggie and Charlie from has -Been Hotel, Meg Griffin from Family Guy, Kyle Broflowski from South Park, Sir Viper the Pokemon, Crazy Donna, the relative of Redacted, Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys, Episode 2, Stewie Griffin from Family Guy, Uncle Clive, uh, Redacted's relatives, Wario, Wario, Cherry Bob from has -Been Hotel, Homer Simpson, Julian from the Trailer Park Boys, and Bart Simpson. Episode 3 will feature Starfire, Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Cousin Aloysius, one of Redacted's relatives, Lisa Simpson, and Cyborg. Episode 4 will feature Gengar, Bowsette, Grandpappy Jack, Bumble from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Autonomous Snowman, uh, Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony, Bubbles from the Trailer Park Boys, and Randy also from the Trailer Park Boys. Not to be confused with Randy Marsh. I did not include him on that uh, list because I I had so many slots I could fill. All right, Episode 5, we'll have Snorlax the Pokemon, Alistair the Radio Demon from has -Been Hotel, Chris Griffin, Raven from Teen Titans, Stan Marsh from South Park, Robin from Teen Titans, and Husk from... Has been Hotel. Episode 6 will feature Aunt Mildred, the one that draws on mirrors. One of Redacted's uh, relatives. Kenny McCormick. Woo Lou, the cutest Pokemon that will probably murder everybody. Luigi. Oh, good lord. I just realized he's afraid of ghosts, ain't he? Woo boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yukon Cornelius from the Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer fame. Peach from Mario, the princess that keeps getting pin kidnapped, and the constantly, chronically drunk as fuck, Jim Leahy. Alright, in episode 7, we have Peter Griffin, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Grandma Despair, the one with the knife, one of Redacted's relatives, Waluigi, Wah! Angel Dust and Serpentius, both of has -Been Hotel, and Rarity from My Little Pony. Number 8, we will have Nifty... From Has Been Hotel, Blaziken the Pokemon, Fluttershy, <laughs> from My Little Pony, Brian Griffin, from Family Guy, Beast Boy, from Teen Titans, Aunt Vale, the one with the haunted mirrors, not to be confused with the one that draws on mirrors in the Mirrors minigame, and of course, Lois Griffin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this show. Oh, boy, that was a very long selection show. If you like this, please give it a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And I we will officially start the tournament. The first episode of the Trivia Murder Party medley will be at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time in Houston, Texas. The first episode of Trivia Murder Party 2 to follow at 5 p.m. Both of them will be premieres. Please mark that on your calendar. Put that in your schedule. You do not want to miss it. The rest of the tournament will continue for nine days. Don't forget, one of you could have your names featured as one of the characters in each of the episodes, but 
who exactly I have not yet selected. That will be a private selection or possibly public. I have not yet decided. I still have to work around my work schedule and all that stuff. So I'm definitely going to be cramming like crazy. Anyways, can't wait for the tournament. I will see you all next time. Happy murdering. And let's just hope World War III doesn't happen.